Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm joining you guys from a new location. And what we are going to do in today's video is we will continue mixing our rock song. And particularly, we are going to work with the synths coming up next. And just to do a quick recap, if this is the first time you're visiting this channel, what I'm doing is basically documenting the production process of a rock song from start to finish. We are at the mixing stage. Go ahead and click on the link that's above here so you don't miss out the first video of this series. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications so that YouTube lets you know every time there is new content on this channel. And now without further ado, let's move on and work with the synths of our rock song. All right, so here we are, here we have our synth tracks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same approach that I use uh, in the previous episodes. I'm going to start by, you know, just adding some um, analog sim uh, console simulation here, the way I like it, there's one here. And um, second thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some EQ first to add some room for the other instruments or you know using high high pass filters to to just um, remove stuff that is not going to be used by the instrument then i'm going to apply also eq to do a little bit of sound design and i have a few effects that i'm I, i'd like to use that i'm going to use here so let's start with this one here which is the arpeggiator let's listen to it Okay, so I wanted to see like the frequency range it was using. Let me listen for it again. Yeah, uh, and I want to just make it pop a little bit more and around uh, three and a half K. Let's take a listen to it again. What I'm going to do now is just pretty much level. So it is just brighter. Uh, let's hear it in the context of the mix. So another thing that I wanted to do to this uh, sound was to use a little bit of um, a little bit of um, uh, st stereo widening, which is something that I'm able to do here. And let's see. Um, also for that, I would say um, between. Let's just listen to this. Between 4 and 8, 8K, I would say, let's say around 6K, and then, you know, also as well as the, the high frequencies as well. So I'm going to add a little bit of um, stereo widening here. Again, let's listen to it again. Let's listen to it in the context of the mix. Yeah, a little bit brighter, but now that I think about it, I, uh, I may want to add just a little bit more of um, mid frequencies as well. Just 
just a little bit so that it doesn't lose that yep now for the leads same thing first let's add a little bit of uh, console simulation then, then let's see what can we do with regards to the um, high pass filter yeah this is quite a bassy sound so again Yeah, so um, this EQ right here is adding a little bit of grid. It's something that usually you can do around 3K. So let's leave it like that. Uh, let's hear it in the context of the mix. Yep, I hear that grid, which is what I wanted. Now let's go back and work with the piano and the piano is at the intro of the song. So let me just copy this, but let's listen to it. I definitely I don't think I'm going to need anything below 400, so I'll just keep this. Yep. It's got a little bit more attack um, and it's not, you know, I'm just removing all of the frequencies below 350. Now let's move on with the, um, the keys that we have going on at the pre-chorus. Same thing, going to add a little bit of console simulation. Let's hear them solo just to see what we can do with regards to using that filter as well. Let's listen to the chorus. Yeah. I think that same 350 is fine. Maybe this is too much. Yeah, maybe just around, maybe just around uh, seven. Yeah, let's leave it like that. I'm going to add a little bit of um, uh, stereo widening as well for this for this sound, let's take a listen to it here at the um, final chorus.
that's uh, the level that I imagined this sound to be at. Now for the pad sounds, uh, let's do the same thing. Let me see what we can do with this sound. Yeah, this one's got a little, it's a little bassy as well. Let's see what happens if I keep that at, um, at 350 hertz. Just takes gonna leave it at 160. Yeah, because definitely I I only want to be I only want to have the bass and the kick drum in that low end section. So I, that's why I'm I'm so insistent with these high pass filters. Now let's listen again. I would like to add, you know, that grid again to the to the pads as well. Yeah, love that. Yep, I like that better. Alright, this is pretty much the way I imagine the sound of the synths. Let's take a quick listen to this uh, a little bit before and after. So let's start with the intro. Just brighter, I would say. I really like the sound of that uh, pad better in with with the EQ, with that EQ. Yeah, all right, so that's it. I mean, we have um, some sound design here, console simulation. I could still, you know, add maybe more effects to these tracks using this auxiliary bus here. I could add, for example, delays. I didn't use any compressors because I think since these are, uh, since these are synth sounds, to me, they're pretty uh, they don't have much dynamics in my in, in my opinion, so I didn't use compression, but I could to maybe color the sound. I could try that when we are at the um, effects episode. But for now, each sound is designed, or I mean, each, each track is sounding the way I was imagining. And I also opened up some room for the other instruments, which is very important to me. So I may come back later again to the EQ of each of these instruments you know, from the drums and, and, and so on. When I'm working with the vocals, if I see that, you know, there's some collision somewhere, so I may come back and, and, and maybe remove some bands or whatever. But for now, the sound is pretty much ready. Let's take a listen a little bit before we go. But uh, 
yeah, we will be pretty much ready. We already have drums, guitars, bass, uh, synths, pretty much the rhythmic, the whole rhythmic section is completed. And the next, in the next episode, we're going to work on the harmonies, but let's take a listen to how it is sounding so far. Let's listen to this part here. listen to the verse yeah all right so that would be it for the sense okay so we have now our synths pretty much ready and mixed in our rock song let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the method that i use the plugins etc as i tell you in each and every video i'm interested in learning from your ideas as well also if you were able to learn something or you were able to get something from this video please don't forget to hit that like button that way you will be supporting our channel now in the next episode we will continue with the mixing process of our song we are yet still to mix the vocals the harmonies and do a overall mix to the whole song so stay tuned to the channel don't miss it out and i will see you guys on the next episode